you to be honest and ask yourself, how often do I pray? How often do I pray intentionally? And how often do I pray in the spur of the moment? Now ask yourself, how often do I thank God for my church family? Friends, today we begin a new series in the letter of the Thessalonians, the first letter of Thessalonians, which we see from the opening two verses is a really wonderfully encouraging letter. Uh, Paul writes, 1 Thessalonians 1 verse 1, Paul, Silvanus and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. And most of us, I imagine, are familiar with the Apostle Paul and with his apprentice Timothy, whom Paul considers to be a son in the Lord. Um, Silvanus, however, will be less familiar to us. The name Silvanus, however, is a longer form of the name Silas. And so most scholars presume that Paul is referring to the same Silas who was sent with Paul and Barnabas to Antioch, the same Silas who, with Paul, was attacked by the mob in Thessalonica, and the same Silas who carried the first letter of Peter to the scattered churches. And so as we begin this letter, we can say that this is written to Christians in Thessalonica from three fairly significant leaders in the early church. However, of more importance is not Paul or Silvanus or Timothy, but the wonderful truth that they all share, which is their faith in God the Father and in Jesus Christ. Uh, Paul continues, 1 Thessalonians 1 verse 2. We always thank God for all of you, making mention of you constantly in our prayers. I spent the weekend at Kick, which is the Katoomba Youth Convention, uh, with some of the youth from our church. And I was wonderfully encouraged by their, their eagerness to learn, as well as their willingness to wrestle with the teaching of the Bible. But what stood out was the excitement our youth felt because of the number of Christians that were at the conference. You know, it is always encouraging, especially when you are part of a smaller youth group, to see many guys and girls your own age who also believe in Jesus, just as you do. And it seems to me that this is the similar feeling that Paul has when he thinks about the Christians in Thessalonica. It's not a perfect church, okay, because it's filled with imperfect people. However, what we'll see is that they are a church working hard at their faith. And this brings Paul and his companions great joy. And so when he prays, he always prays for the Thessalonians. And when he prays for the Thessalonians, he always thanks God for all of them. Now for me, that is both an encouraging and, and challenging reality. I, I'm encouraged because it reminds me of people who tell me that they pray for me, and for Catherine and for our family. And so thank you. But it's challenging because I'm confronted with my own prayer life, with the, the frequency in which I pray, with the attentiveness, attentiveness I give to, to praying for our church family and other churches. And with the emotions I feel when I pray. You know, do I pray like Paul? Do you pray like Paul? Do you always thank God for your fellow believers? Do you remember your church family whenever you pray? Now, there are many things and people that we have in mind when we pray. And as a result, our, our prayers will more than likely be different every single time we pray. And, and that's a good thing. And, and so don't hear me saying that, you know, you should be praying for your church family every time you pray. However, wouldn't it be great if we did? Friends, prayer is one of those topics, I think, that most Christians feel guilty about. Because whenever it's mentioned, we always immediately think, well, I'm not praying as much as I should. But I simply want you to be encouraged by Paul and his prayers, and so allow that encouragement to help you in your prayers. And so with that in mind, why don't you take a minute to consider whether your prayers follow a similar pattern and then spend another minute asking God to help you to pray regularly and widely and especially for our church family.